What's up guys, Alex with Judas Resale back with another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. And today's video is going to be talking a little bit about ratings and we're gonna have a giveaway, so stick around. All right, so let's talk about Facebook Marketplace and selling specifically on Facebook Marketplace and how it relates to ratings. So if you've ever been on Facebook Marketplace, every seller has ratings. These ratings, I think, are important. It was a conversation I've had with other sellers and it's something where I saw a comment one time posted on someone's uh, post and it was a very interesting perspective about ratings and when they buy from a seller. So um, I'm gonna first off go ahead and talk about the giveaway. First off, if you wanna be entered for this giveaway, we're gonna figure out a way to go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and give it to someone in the comments. So comment down below that you love this movie, Horrible Bosses, that's our giveaway. So comment your name down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and we will make sure to get this to you. Uh, we have an email address and we will, uh, um, be able to tell you when you want on the next video. So, Horrible Bosses, that's our movie giveaway. The comment that I once saw, I want to talk about that today, is the person said, I don't buy from a seller that doesn't have hundreds of ratings. And by hundreds, I think they might be like a thousand as a baseline. This person said a few hundred. So even if a few hundred, I want to talk about that. Because when I sold my first few hundred orders on Facebook Marketplace, I was able to test this theory um, as far as how many people will give me a review per order. And believe it or not, this is the answer. I had about 400 orders. Uh, Facebook will tell you how many orders you've surpassed in hundreds, uh, increments of 100 up to 500. So I remember when I got to around 400, my ratings touched 100. I had just different ratings in general. So I had some four stars, some three stars. I'm gonna pop up my um, ratings to kind of roast my own ratings here, but. One out of four people would leave a review for me of some kind. Now, the interesting part about my reviews, you've already seen my reviews. Um, I'm not afraid of them. I personally put time and effort into every order. So it's interesting to see that I got some that I don't, I never got a reason why. So that's always the interesting part about a rating is you sometimes never know what you did wrong. Maybe the item got damaged in shipping and that's something that's like outside of my control technically. Um, I guess I could have packaged it better, but you know what I mean. Um, so, but those are just ratings that are interesting. Out of five, 400 orders, uh, one out of four people will leave a review. So 100 people left me a review. And the conversation goes back to the question that someone posted on Facebook. Would you buy from someone that has just a few ratings? Um, believe it or not, you're going to see on eBay, tons of people are selling. I don't, I don't know how many people are actually starting to resell, but the number is a lot. And my question is, first off, do you even comment down below? Do you even look at the ratings? Does it even matter? I know if I'm searching on Amazon, the ratings matter, but what about seller ratings on Facebook Marketplace and eBay? Um, I think a lot of sellers out there think um, that they matter. I do personally myself. Um, I strive to get good ratings. I don't send requests for ratings. I know a lot of people do. Um, I don't just because of the way I sell a lot of my items. I sell hundreds of items. So um, it would just be really tedious to send each one and that sort of thing. So but comment down below, should I do that? Should that maybe help boost that one out of four? Um, that one out of four was not really by any me asking people for ratings. So it was purely organic. They had a good experience with me. And one out of four people said, you know what? I'm going to give that guy a rating. So, and some of them, as you can tell, were not so good, but it is what it is. And one of the things that I think is important when we talk about ratings is not every rating has to go perfect. I just had a rating the other day that was a five-star rating and the client or whatever you want to call them bought a movie and the movie got there perfect. The, the problem was the movie had an audio issue. And so believe it or not, I gave him a full refund. And I said, I'm sorry this happened. You know, this is definitely something that I can't control. When I send out movies, I check them. They look good. I don't test anything that looks brand new. A lot of my Blu-rays don't even look touched because they have digital codes. And long story short, the audio had issues. I said, you know what? It was just a few dollars anyway. I'll refund you. And so that cost me essentially because I had to pay the media mail to get up there and my product. I just gave it to them because it doesn't work. Well, guess what? I got a five-star rating out of that. So just because an, uh, an order doesn't go perfect doesn't mean you will get a bad rating. So keep that in mind. Don't think just because an order didn't go perfect, you're going to get a bad rating. There's things that you can do uh, that show care to customers that really will come back and buy from you, um, you know, all that. So it's a lot about how you respond, how you talk to them, things like that. So comment down below if the rating thing interests you. Again, make sure to comment down below that you love the movie Horrible Bosses. Uh, subscribe to the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and go ahead and like the video. We are going to be continuing talking about physical media, DVDs, and that sort of thing on this channel. So if that's your thing, I want to go ahead and shout out to my subscribers I currently have. I have four. And yes, I do want to shout you all out. And as we grow, I just want to continue to say thank you. And if this is your thing, like this video. More content to come about DVDs, Blu-rays, that sort of thing. So if that interests you, stick around. There's a whole bunch more that I have planned. All right, till the next one. Catch you later.